Keep your plans in sand and your goals in concrete. Come on. So far, so good. I just want to make sure that I'm as square as possible before I really make any cuts. All right, y'all, a whole bunch of finagling, but I think we finally got a square. It took me a little bit longer than I thought it was going to take, but I think I am in a good position now. So I'm going to go ahead and wiggle wire this in, do it and try to get it as tight as I possibly can, and then <laughs> wrestle the other side. I'm not trying to cover the whole entire structure just yet. I just really want to do these in walls. Uh, and then probably tomorrow or the next day, I'll put up shea cloth along the sides. Uh, this is just to keep out birds and stuff like that because it starts to cool down a little bit. Probably as we get a little bit closer to October, possibly even November, to be honest with you, probably will then put the uh, put the plastic over the whole entire structure. It's just really hot right now. I'm gonna put the top on, I mean the, the in walls on today, and um, hopefully everything is going to work out fine. So yesterday this happened. Boom. I got to still get up there. Actually, one of my good friends, Scott, came by a little later. Um, it was dark, <laughs> so I didn't uh, video it. I couldn't video it. But anyway, I got to finish this thing up today. Put the rest, at least that front part. It looks good, man. Yo, wiggle wire is awesome, y'all. This is actually my first time ever using wiggle wire. I have to say, dude, this stuff is way better than sandwiching um, planks of wood together or stapling plastic to your structure. This is way better. I mean, I'm already feeling how much tighter it is. And this stuff is going to just lock in and stay there. It's not going to be moving around or anything. When the wind comes, it's going to stay. That is what I want. As the wind starts to blow, if you have it just stapled or sandwiched, what will end up happening where all those uh, nails and stuff are, it's going to eventually wiggle inside there, right? And eventually rip. And um, over a couple years, probably, you're going to end up having a problem. Uh, with these winds I have, I have here, it could even be faster than a couple of years. But this is going to keep it to where I don't have to worry about that, hopefully ever. I should chill. All right, for all intent purposes, this side is wiggled and locked. The goal is to do the two in walls as well as this whole structure twice. Basically, I want to have two layers of this poly over the uh, middle section so that we can insulate it later on. Now what I need to do is take this plastic and put it across to the other side. Now, the other side is a little bit more cumbersome. So I'm actually thinking I'm gonna pretty much be doing that other side in pieces as opposed to just doing one solid piece. Sunday. Another day, another day. When we say by the hook, by the crook. We gonna get this done. Pretty much got this back part on. It was really easy. The excess actually was perfect. The perfect amount for uh, what we needed back here, especially just the little pieces that we need back here. So this is gonna work out really well. As you can kind of see, I've already started to line this thing up. A lot easier to do. This is gonna be a breeze for me to do by myself. Famous last word, just get this thing knocked out. Just like the other side, I want to make sure that I tape these really sharp edges just so over time they don't uh, irritate the plastic and make a hole. I want to do like that. It's actually kind of sharp. Just something like that. So I'll use that clip there just to keep me straight with this seam. All right, y'all. So here we are back up on top. All right, guys, so we got a lot of that on. Use that top little portion there. I'm sort of thinking it doesn't really, it's not as important for me to uh, get this as straight as the other side, seeing that this is just like a scrap piece anyway, and I have more than enough to cover this. I think what's more important for me is to make sure that this is tight, but it does look straight anyway. See, so you can see the 
TV, the writing there. What I wanted to show you guys was another little thing that we're gonna be doing uh, when we actually get ready to put the roof on. Uh, so what's gonna end up happening is this roof's gonna come across here. And what I'm gonna do is attach this part of the roof right here. In part, it's gonna come all the way across these dirty Harbor Freight <laughs> solar panels will be gone. When the wind comes, it's gonna blow on top of the roof and it's just gonna stay continually on top of this roof and not really hit in, you know, kind of bow in the plastic there. This is gonna be uh, double insulated with air. So that's gonna have enough cushion, I'm hoping, to be able to, you know, blow and get pushed back so we won't really get uh, interrupted too much down below. That's the plan. So what I'm noticing is when I grab and pull the plastic down, it leaves waves, almost like my finger marks. So what I'm trying to do is pull it. There's a wrinkle, see that wrinkle right? Oop. A wrinkle right there. I'm pulling it to the side and um, kind of making it tight that way. So eventually that wrinkle will run all the way out. Hey, hey y'all, so finally, finally been able to score shade cloth. Oh, got two of them. This is gonna finish off the uh, the greenhouse in the back. Well, the shade hut right now. I know I'm talking all this shade business and it's overcast, but that's because the fire's up there. So, you don't need a lot of it right now, but I got them anyway. He's getting done with most of the, um, the shade cloth business back here. So I actually am installing some more wiggle wire up on this, um, <clears throat> I guess, beam here. Can you see that? Just point it up here. And the reason I didn't put it up there is because this little, from this part here, it's supposed to go all the way over down to that channel lock. Oh, man. Seeing that I'm going to be putting shade cloth on, I now need another piece of channel lock, which I bought a bunch extra just because of stuff like this. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and install this channel lock right here, and then we're going to get the uh, shade cloth all whip wired in. It's going to be done. It's really going to be helping us out a lot. One from just different birds and stuff like that. So no, we no longer are going to just have to individually wrap our, uh, our racks, which is awesome. as well as actually in this area right here. Jesus, that's why we had a shake off. We get a nasty, a nasty just ray of sun that comes through just like laser focused and it just destroys whatever is in its path. So tonight is when the poker by the crook type situation you did. This must go on tonight. So I won't be around to do what needs to be done to take care of the birds tomorrow. So yeah, so this has to get done tonight. Found a new place, man. This should leave the, uh, I'll leave the information down below. So if you live in the Corona area or anywhere in the Inland Empire, you might want to check these cats out. May, thank you so much. You hooked me up. 10 by 50, 40% for 40 bucks. So I thought that that was pretty cool. So I was able to get two of them. Uh, they have a bunch of stuff, man. A uh, bunch of ag fabrics. I seen a bunch of row covers, mad insect netting. So I'm definitely going back. Oh yeah, it's not that far. And I don't have to freaking order. I can just stop by and get it anytime I want. Yeah, that's what's up. On the way from the market at that. These type of situations are always dope when you have two people. But I'm an only child, so that's how we get it. Hey, so we got one side on. It's pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. All right, guys, so we're pretty much done. Operation by the hook or by the crook. The knee, loving it, man. Yeah, this is dope. I still have a little bit of work to do. I'll take care of the doors and all that kind of stuff probably like next week. Uh, but anyway, I'm getting hungry. Mm, this is dope. I don't have to worry about anything getting in here for the most part. I mean, there are some places where I can see things get in like birds or whatever. You know, we might get one or two. And then we can just go ahead and make all those permanent fixes and then nothing can get in here. I guess I can complete this video. Um, yeah, it took me a minute to get this done. Don't give up, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes things take a long time, especially if you're doing things by yourself. So yeah, a full week just to do this. I should have had this done. At least that's what I'm going through my mind. This should have been done, but it's done now and I'm happy that it is done. 
and there's a lot less work that has to be done by me now <laughs> because this is up so i am really happy with this stay tuned guys we'll be doing a couple more things in here uh like completing this whole thing the greenhouse structure and all that stuff should be up by i'm hoping november sleeves can't even see my sleeves but i got tricks up on <laughs> peace y'all thanks for watching